don't, don't, don't do that because you because you know that I know that you know that I've got something stupid to say because you know that I'm an idiot. But you can't argue I've got a heart of gold. Good morning, party people. <laughs> Welcome to the breakdown. I'm Johnny. This is Nate, and we are checking out "Broken Heart of Gold" by One OK Rock, Japanese rock band. We've done them once on the channel before. I believe the song was "Renegades." It was epic and big, and we really liked it. We did. Um, this is their brand new video. Yeah. I don't know whether this is just like a, a worldwide release. I think they do like a Japanese version and then a non-Japanese version. We're going to check check out the non-Japanese version, which means no subtitles, I guess. Yeah, well, this actually only dropped a few hours ago as we're recording it now, and we came to do the one that they had released and saw there was an English one. So naturally, because we're <laughs> terrible at English and even worse at any other language, uh, but hey, if you guys could please check out our merch if you like what you see. It helps keep the channel going. And you are going to do great things. You are. It's true, and you're probably going to slap it a base as well. But yeah, um, please like, subscribe, follow us on the socials, send us some requests of new things that are coming out, especially if you are from another country. That'd be great. Because we don't know what Put your headphones on! All right, all right. Oh, God. That's the, the worst part of this channel, is trying yeah, to get Johnny to stop talking so we can check out the music. Yeah. Three, two, one. Piano's playing itself. Firstly, film clip is stunning so far, image-wise, but what does that face remind you of? It's like one of the Disney movies, is it... Wally? No, it's not Wally. Uh, it's the other one with the little floating white thing, white robot thing. I think its name is Eve or something. Ah, someone comment below because it reminds me of it. Oh, not anymore. Okay, I was looking for a, a good moment to pause it then. And then you waited till the absolute worst time. Oh, now everything's kicked in. <laughs> I didn't want to ruin the kick and I'm glad I didn't. Please tell me you get uh, Bring Me The Horizon vibes. I get Linkin Park vibes, which oh. I guess Bring Me The Horizon have gone a bit Linkin Park. Yeah. So maybe, yeah, I see what Just you like, mean. Just uh, like songs off um, That's The Spirit sort of. Which remind me of songs off Meteor. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Cool. Well, yeah, Link Me The Horizon Park. <laughs> <laughs> the Japanese version. Uh, I'm really liking how this. How good is his voice? Stunning. And then I'm loving that that slow build towards this, which had the Sony unique little instrumentation bits kicking in here. It's really yeah. cool. Let's keep going. That line, when it feels too painful. It reminds me of a Bring Me The Horizon song. I can't put my finger on it. 
Either way, it sounds great. I love it. Yeah, the the way he's wrote his vocal melodies is really cool. There. Also, yeah. the lyrics of this obviously quite um, sad. Yeah. But really well put. I love that. Yeah, for sure. Film clips great as well. Yeah. Um, also, only realised not long ago that the it's character animated. was animated. Yeah. <laughs> I did wonder how long it would take you to comment on that. <laughs> The Polaris. Polaris. <laughs> We're friends. Animation's really cool. Really good. Yeah. I don't know if you realise, but that guy was animated as well. <laughs> Just... The whole I... film clip was animated. <laughs> <laughs> um, I really liked that. That, yeah, me too. I liked the last song. That has made me want to now go actively and check out more of their shit. That was so nice to listen to. It really was. Yeah. Yeah, it really was. That I feel like as well, that is probably more of like a ballad for them. Um, compared to the... The last one was epic as well. Yeah, yeah, it was. But that felt like quite ballady. I don't know. I really liked it. I, his voice is just so, so great. Um, I would love to see the band play that live. Yeah, a lot of, lot of instrumentation going on in there. Yeah. Uh, a lot of cool sounds and things. Um, it was, it was in interesting with that one as well because the guitar was a little bit pulled back and subdued. But in that chorus when it kicked in, that single note sort of riff, boom, Da -na -na -na, like really cut through yeah and it, it stood out but it didn't make it sound too rock you know what I mean yeah like it it was just really nice like he's, it was yeah. like one okay rock <laughs> more than okay rock <laughs> one fantastic rock <laughs> um, <laughs> when the keys built into the guitar and then the drums and everything kicked in from that yeah there was a lot that happened really quickly in that there were some really cool little pieces that Filled really fast in that, yep. but his voice still stood above. Oh, it. Man. it was, and I love. It's really good songwriting because you're able to sing along to that chorus because it was Absolutely. repeated so many yep. times. Yep. Not to the point where you're like, okay, we got it. It it just worked really well, and that's a thing. I remember reading an article years ago about. Um, it was talked about Patrick and Pete in Fallout Boy, okay. and Pete was saying he's like. Patrick has these set of things that write the perfect song. And that's why so many Fall Out Boy's early singles were so big because he's like, he knows how to write a song. It's like, yeah. you got to have the chorus, you got to have the verse repeated at least, sorry, the chorus repeated at least twice. you got to have the verse yeah, for here sure. and here. you got to have a little bridge here. Like, all the things that write a really great song and that's exactly what that was. It had all those really beautiful build-ups. Yeah. That was a great ballad. I love that. Yeah, for sure. And look, that's, um, you know, the same with any sort of really big pop or rock artist or group or band is that it, it follows that formula but again like that stuff can become too formulaic but it it all comes down to how talented the band is mm. and hugely reliant on the vocalist because yes. obviously fallout boy 
Patrick writes such incredible vocal melodies, and that's why their choruses don't become boring. Yeah. Because you love hearing it. I loved hearing that chorus. They could have repeated that again, and I would have been like, yeah, I love hearing that chorus. Yeah, I was very happy for that song to continue. What did you mm. guys think? For those of you that haven't heard of 1OK Rock before, is that your first time? Did you like it? Um, for those of you that are fans of the band that may have come across here, welcome. And please do let us know what other songs we should check out by them. We love hearing from you guys, and we'll see you guys... Yeah.